Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. In this video, I'll show you how to install Python 3.13.3 and set it up with Visual Studio Code on a Windows 10 or 11 system. First, we'll download and install the latest Python version. Next, we'll install Visual Studio Code. After that, I'll walk you through how to connect Python with VS Code. And finally, we'll run a sample Python program inside Visual Studio Code to confirm everything is working properly. So let's begin with the first step. First, open your browser. In the search bar, type Python and press enter. You'll see the official Python website at the top. It's python.org. Go ahead and click on it. Once you're on the homepage, hover your mouse over to the downloads tab. You'll see the latest version, which is Python 3.13.3. Click on it and the download will begin automatically. Once the download is complete, right click on the executable file and select open to begin the installation process. You can now minimize your browser. The Python setup window will appear. First, make sure to check both of these options. Use admin privileges when installing and add python.exe to path. Then, click on Customize Installation to review what will be installed. On this screen, ensure that options like pip are selected. Pip is a package manager used to install and manage Python packages and libraries. Also make sure idle is selected. It's a simple IDE for writing and running Python programs. Leave everything else as it is and click next. In the advanced option screen, check the first box that says install for all users, but only if you are the system administrator. I'll go ahead and select it. Everything else can remain as default. Python will be added to the environment variables and automatically install in C program directory, which is perfectly fine. Click install to begin the installation. Once the setup is complete, you'll see a success message. Just click close to finish. Now let's verify the Python installation. Go to the start menu and in search bar, type CMD and press enter to launch the command prompt. In the terminal window, type the command Python, then two times hyphen version and press enter. You should see the installed version of Python displayed, confirming that Python has been installed successfully. We've successfully installed Python. Now let's move on and install the latest version of Visual Studio Code. Open your web browser and in the search bar, type Visual Studio Code Download and press Enter. The official website will appear at the top of the results. It's code.visualstudio.com. Click on that link to open the Visual Studio Code homepage. Next, click the Windows Download button. This will begin downloading the VS Code installer. The file is about 103 megabytes in size. Once the download is complete, right-click the installer file and select Open to begin the installation process. When the setup window appears, accept the license agreement and click Next. It will show you the default installation location. No need to change it, just click Next again. Leave the default settings as they are and continue by clicking Next. On the next screen, Visual Studio Code will register itself as a supported editor for file types and you'll also see an option to add a desktop icon. Go ahead and tick that box if you'd like a shortcut on your desktop. Click Next, then click Install to begin the installation. Once the installation finishes, you'll see an option to launch Visual Studio Code. You can uncheck it if you don't want it to open immediately and then click Finish to complete the setup. Now you can launch Visual Studio Code directly from the desktop shortcut, or you can click on the Start menu and type Visual Studio Code in the search bar. It will appear right there. Click the icon to open the VS Code. Once it is open, we'll move on to the next step which is connecting Visual Studio Code to Python. Go ahead and click on File in the top menu and select Open Folder. Now, let's create a new folder on the desktop. I'll name it something like Bike Geek. After creating the folder, open it and click Select Folder to load it into VS Code as your project workspace. 
Once the folder is opened in VS Code, let's create a new Python file. Just right click inside the folder area in the Explorer pane, then select New File. Let's name this file firstprogram.py. Remember, .py is the extension used for Python files. Your Python file will be created and ready for editing. Once you've created the Python file, a prompt will appear in the bottom right corner of the screen suggesting you install the Python extension. Simply click the install button to download and set up the recommended extension for Python development in VS Code. You can also install the Python extension manually if the automatic prompt doesn't appear. To do this, click on the extensions icon in the left hand sidebar of Visual Studio Code. In the search bar, type Python and press enter. The first result will be the official Python extension for VS Code developed by Microsoft. Simply click install to add it to your editor. We have already installed in our system, so install button is disabled. Once the installation is complete, return to your Python file. Let's test it out with a simple program. For example, I'll write a line of code to print Hello World Byte Geek. Now save the file using Ctrl plus S button. After saving, right click anywhere in the editor and select Run Python File in Terminal. You'll see that the terminal opens at the bottom and your code runs successfully. In this case, printing the text. That's it. You've now set up Python and Visual Studio Code to work together. And that's it. You've successfully installed Python 3.13.3 and set it up with Visual Studio Code. Whether you're just starting out or continuing your coding journey, you're all set to write and run Python programs with ease. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on future tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.